Hi there, welcome back to another great academy lecture on financial maths. So today we're going to be having a look at the amortization formula. So what is the amortization formula? Well, it's this formula here in our log tables, and it is used for repaying back mortgages and loans. So yeah, amortization, so it's for paying back mortgages and loans for equal repayments at equal intervals. So for example, if you're paying off a set amount over like every month, every year, we can use this formula. Um, it says that A is equal to the annual repayment amount. So in your head, I just want you to almost cross off the word annual because it can be used um, if you're paying off something every month, every week. Um, so it's just A is the repayment amount and P is the principal. So what does that mean? Well, that's the amount that we borrowed, okay? So that is our formula, and we're gonna have a go at a question here. Um, so as you can see, I've already written down the formula. So we're gonna have a go at the 2015 paper one question six, part B. We've already done part A in a previous video, so it's nice to try and finish off the question. So Dudek had borrowed 80,000 euro with a monthly interest rate of 0.35%. Thanks for the term of the loan. The loan is to be repaid in equal monthly repayments over 10 years. The repayment is due one month after the loan is issued. So that's also important. So I should probably highlight that as well. One month after the loan is issued, calculate correct to the nearest euro, the amount of each monthly repayment. Okay. So we need to use this amortization formula. Okay. So. Do we know what A is? No, we don't, so we're gonna leave that blank. Do we know what P is? Yes, that's the 80,000 euro that he's borrowed. Do we know what I is? We do, so we're, it's 0.35%, so we just need to put it as a decimal, so 0 0.0035. Okay, plus one plus, yeah, multiply by one plus I. Sorry, this is after going a little bit wayward on me. I'll just Drop this back here, uh, perfect. So multiplied by one plus I, 0.0035, prior T. So what is T gonna be? Well, they're paying it back for 10 years and they're paying it back monthly. So it's really important that um, if our I is in months that we put our T in months as well. So that's gonna be 120, so 12 times 10, okay? I'll divide it by, one plus i, which is 0.0035. Um, yeah, so again, t is 120 minus one. And all we have to do now is throw that into our calculator and we're gonna get a is equal to um, 817 euro and 59 cents. So if we're to round that to the nearest euro, that is gonna be 818 euro. So what does that mean? It means that in order for Dunica to pay off his loan, he's going to need to pay 818 euro every month for 10 years to pay off his loan. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this great academy lecture. Until next time, happy learning.